trend that we're seeing in Catholic Charities with um, the working poor is that uh, numbers are going up. More people are working, but more people still cannot or do not have all the resources that they need to be able to get through their daily life. They're generally uh, families. Uh, majority of them have children, dependents at home. Some also have a uh, grandparent that may be living with them. And so they're trying to make it together. and. Uh, they work, they have a 20-hour job with one particular company and then they have another 20-hour job with another. They generally don't have benefits because they're considered part-time in both. And so where they struggle is being able to make ends meet and also have the ability to have the daycare necessary and be able to have uh, a safe place for their children. So after school is an issue, transportation is an issue and of course uh, being able to get from one job to the other is an issue as well. In our crisis office, our food pantry has found a 40 percent increase in working families that come to subsidize their um, food budget. Uh, we've also seen a larger amount of about 35 percent larger uh, number of families that go to our shelter. It's important for Catholic Charities to have that safety net to provide food, to provide utility assistance, to provide uh, housing when it's needed. Even though you may not directly be involved or see how your gift changes lives, I'm here to tell you that they do. Uh, we see it every day and we at Catholic Charities and the Archdiocese know that it's just not us that are standing there but we represent all of you together as we serve those in need.